Ooh. <laughs> Make your intro. Oh, okay. Hi, guys. Sorry. <laughs> new camera. Weird setup. Uh, we're the Affable Asians. I'm Panda. Behind me is Aff. And uh, we have got a box of a 2023 Stadium Club ready to rip for this new Lunar New Year's Eve. That's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. Lunar yeah. New Year's Eve. Do you want to tell them why I convinced you to rip today? Well, there's really, no, it's not that hard to convince me. I think I take any, any excuse to do it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons that I told you when we were in the bedroom. Oh, so that you could, uh, you know that uh, what women do when they, uh, when they're doing crochet groups, it's called stitch and bitch, but this is your version of stitch oh, and bitch. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rip and bitch. Yeah. Rip and bitch. Rip and bitch. That doesn't quite roll off the tongue like stitch and bitch. Rip and bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Yeah, so um, in this video, we're going to take our time in going through this box, um, mainly because of all of the experience that we've had in ripping this Stadium Club 2023. We originally bought a case and um, a few boxes. The case is mainly for breaks and the boxes are for personal um, rip so that we can show you guys what the cards are like inside the top stadium to compare the hobby box, the compact box and the blaster boxes. However, um, due to certain circumstances of the quality control in this particular product line, we don't think it's as fun or fair to break this um, product line. Yeah, it's kind of heartbreaking to pull something really good and then you see like a production yeah. line. Um, in case you guys didn't know, we pulled our first 101 autograph of Jeff Backwell. Um, the card was so poorly damaged, I had to send an email to Top's customer service, uh, basically inquiring about, hey, this card is damaged. Um, do you guys deem it to be so poorly damaged that I can send it in and to get a replacement for this card? Um, I finally shipped it in yesterday, which is the f seventh, a day after my birthday, yeah, the seventh mm -hmm. of uh, February, uh, in hopes of them reprinting it or sending me another one of one. Um, I know that Jeff Backwell one of one doesn't necessarily worth that much, but it, it's the principle. Yeah, the principle of you providing a uh, a good quality control and it being our first one of one autograph. We were very excited about it, but also at the same time we were very disappointed about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to rip these boxes. We will pay more attention to all the uh, lack of. Um, yeah, hopefully control. you guys can see. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've changed our our camera thing, so um, maybe you can get a see what we see. We tried to change the camera thing from the front view. Um, we are still tinkering. Or yeah, we're tweaking we're that. we're experimenting still. Experimenting, yeah. Uh, moving forward. Fortunately, we have a lot of videos that are pre-recorded. We have plenty of contents to show you guys. Um, but if you notice a different angle, mainly from front angle, um, it means that it's our new video. Mm -hmm. We are going to see which one do you guys like better. Okay. I'm still on my checklist to finally get like a special box topper out of these. So Special I'm, box topper? Like, you know, like a, oh. an auto or like yeah. some kind of... I think we did we pull a red foil or anything or no no we just pull all the base ones okay yeah okay and we also want to get the uh the case hits see how many cases we can get okay all right that's your checklist for box stoppers no anything general okay just pull it out in case if you need it all right well, i'm gonna move it to the side so you can see what's going on on the stream labs there much appreciated all right one two three <gasps> Ooh, a Byron oh, Buxton. That's a special. No, I thought it was. This is it not. Is, oh, it is not. No, it's not. I thought it's a black foil. Um, yeah, it's not. Yeah, from a certain angle, kind of looks like a black foil. Like so, usually the pictures all all are so. Um, when they're blown up, you could just see how great the photography is. It's so, so nice, and it, it almost seems like it's. Oh, this has got to be a variation. Nope, it's not. It's just. That's why you gotta read up on your variations beforehand or take a look at them before you do a rip just so you can pick them out. Speaking of quality control, I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up, but the corner is damaged there. There you go, you can see it better now. And this is fresh out of the box. It's been very disappointing. In terms of QC, the, the product itself, the photography and everything is impeccable. Yeah, it just seems like the manufacturing and the, the transport and the shipment or packing because we had one where weren't some of the cards smush yeah yeah and one of the box yeah the, the box was smush um, rip as well mm -hmm. with a big line across it remember all right so i'm gonna start from the right i'm gonna take these eight sure 
Yeah, because the autograph is going to be on this stack and that stack. I'll start left on the right. Unless you want to prove me wrong. <laughs> You've been right so far. I'll let you take your... I'll let you think you're right for for so long. That means if I were to go first, I'm still going to pick the one on the left <laughs> and the one on the right. And just took my stack. My stack! Um, yeah, just go through it slowly. See if there's any production damage that you can tell. Uh, Cedric Mullins. Like it's hard. You got to get it right in the light. Okay. Shane Bieber. Marcus Stroman. Going to get really acquainted with these cards. Mm -hmm. Jeter Downs. Wouldn't it be funny? You can't find any in this one, aside from the box stopper. Nice. That's a good photo of Bobby Witt. Yeah, it is nice. Bobby Witt Jr. Freddie Freeman. It's Chief Fantasy Professional. There oh, you go, dude. Yeah, part insert. Ken yeah, Griffey Jr. You can actually kind of see on the bottom here. Mm. And Will Burnin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but their policy is that it has to, at the very least, grade as an 8. If you grade uh, lower than 8, then you can claim it as a damage. damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good rule. Or that's, I mean, yeah, they don't want to be, well, we have to pay for shipping anyway, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, for people like us who are new to the hobby, we can't even deem what an ace like. It's something that comes along with experience. Don't yeah, keep it's on hard to submitting your cards. Yeah. All right, we got a red foil, Kyle Rally. All right, there you go. A Rod. It's a young A Rod when he's on the Seattle Mariners. I keep thinking I see something up here. There is something up yeah. there, like a black dot. It's like a. Yeah, it's really hard to pick it up, especially with a webcam. It's it's right there in the cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the the glares uh, off the light is obstructing it. You don't even know which orientation you're putting it. No, at. I don't. I just kind of threw it over there. Nolan Gorman. Like I said, I'm trying. Uh, especially, I'm not wearing glasses. Ronsi Contreras. Just checking. Mm -mm -mm. Also, these don't have frames, which also makes like the alignment kind of like, oh. Volpe. Yep, got Volpe over there. Rookie card. Austin Riley. Have we seen this set before? Yes, mm. I have. I have pulled an Austin Riley. Robin Yunt. And Corey Seeger. Wait, how does check out? All right, by me. That's fine. You don't have to go that slow. I can go to game with you. Okay. You know when I when I start doing QC, especially at work, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I take that time. All right, we got Wade Boggs. See if nothing jumps out at me, I'll just. Mm -hmm. If it's not like a big deal, then we're oh, fine. Like Javier like Assad. Face. Like the corners, the edges, and everything. Taylor Ward. Some damage there. Mm -hmm. Don't know yeah. if it's visible. It is damage. Yep, right there. You see that? I lifted that corner mm -hmm. up to yeah, the... Yeah, it was on the bottom right corner. If you guys can pick it up. Ricky Henderson. Sliding in. That's really hard to pull out tiny, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. During that break, we pulled like two triumvirates and plenty of um, tons. They made it, made it seem like it was an easy thing to do. <laughs> like, oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Michael Vargas, rookie card. Black foil. Black foil. We got Ken Waldichuk. Mm -hmm. We should be the Waldichuk couple. We keep on getting Waldichuk. No, I th we this bow nailer. I'd rather have bow nailer than Waldichuk. Well, we always get bone. He's like somebody we unexpectedly collect because we just tend to like pull him on a lot of our like auto rips and stuff. Like, oh, I guess I'm PC him now. Tom Glavine, Logan Webb. Let's see. I don't see anything there. Nothing's jumping out, so I'm going to put those two away. 
think the biggest issue with this uh, product is the corners and the edges. Mm, I've seen a couple where the, line, the oh, lines yeah. are really bad. But it's not as common, right? Not as common, mm -hmm. but when you see it, it really does mar the, the image. Like you're, because it's going right through the image. When you see it, it's more noticeable. Stadium club. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, that says stadium club. Brian Bella. Brian Bella. Red foil. Don't be careful of Red Sox. We also pulled the gold minted. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Francisco Lindor. Paul Goldschmidt. Josh Young. Looks like he's stretching, but I know he's sliding in. Jose Berrios. Wilson Contreras. Greg Maddox and Andrew Benintendi. All right. Could this be the one with the autograph? Um, I think it might be more in either number two or three. Yeah. That stack has been a dud. Your first stack. Well, I mean, you said that it's in the middle of the. No, I'm talking about the stack in general. Oh. Yeah. Schwarbaum, Virtuoso of Velocity. Let's check that one. Back to back, we got Paul Goldschmidt, Chief Fantasy Professional, with the inserts. Don Trell Willis. Oh, do I have two Jeff Bagwells? That's that. Why are you giving to me? Is there anything no. special about that what, one? Because I have another. I thought I had another Jeff Bagwell, but no. maybe not. Jeff Bagwell. Yep, no, this is the base. I, I don't recall seeing this image of... Oh, I have. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tim Anderson. No, I have obviously that one. Of the glass chin? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I've seen that image. Tom Seaver. Just call him the chin from now on. <laughs> I Every time I think of fairly godparents. Ozzy Smith. Mm, okay, that's good. We also haven't pulled a redemption card yet. There's a redemption card? Oh, Leo Vera Piguero? What's the redemption? Like an auto or like yeah. a relic? I don't know. I mm. think uh, somebody pulled Adley. Mariano Rivera? Oh, okay, yeah. So there is a. I thought like I've seen everything mm -hmm. and I'm like, no, the chase is still on. There's still things that I want to see. I think since we started collecting cards in late July or early August, we've only pulled one redemption. And we have ripped plenty. <laughs> yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so far. Yeesh. You can't win them all. Hey, there is Javi. It's my thing. All right. I wish John is here to yeet that card. No, don't yeet it. Maybe he'll be good later. More. Maybe he'll pull through. You don't know. Ronald Acuna Jr. Yogi Berra. Brian Reynolds. Red Foil, we got... Frank Thomas, oh wow, he snapped that bat in half. There you go. Ooh. That's your auto. Steven Kwan. Did you, did you say you just pulled a. Uh, was no, I can't remember. No? I can't remember about pulling Stephen Kwan's auto. Okay. I thought you said because you, you told me, like, which Kwan was this one, and I had no, to guess. Wong. Oh, Wong? The corner is damaged too. Mm. Butternuts. Albert Pujols, Yadier Molina. Ooh. Two packs remaining. There's a uh, Colton Wong and Kyle Wong. Can I ask you which Wong? I thought there was three Wongs. What was the other Wong? Because I named the third one and I was like, oh, it's none of them. None of the ones I was thinking of. Boop. Okay. Starling Marte. Hmm. I like the sunset mm -hmm. in the background. Max Muncy. Anthony Rizzo. Carlos Correa. JD Martinez. Ooh. Red foil virtuoso velocity. That's Acuna. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wee wow. Is yeah, that, that right wouldn't now, be like, numbered, right? Be yeah. The corner is a bit damaged. Yeah. Bottom left. Mm -hmm. It flare up a little bit. Willie Mays. And Luis Ortiz. 
rookie card. I think the Acuna uh, right fall insert is the best card we pulled so far. Yeah, kind of disappointing. Mm. Other than that, there's only one black hole. Parallel. What the heck happened here? <laughs> what happened? You see, this is why we need to make a video about it. Well, it's let's like hope somebody that the card's like. Yeah, the product was delayed. I believe it was supposed to come out in November, and a lot of people who pre-ordered they actually got like some kind of credit from Tops oh. um, due to quality control. Um, but oh, that better be a good Corbin mm. to make up for it. And yet we waited a few months after that, and this is what they ended up sending out so Eesh. they got extra time to QC and it mm -hmm. still didn't still didn't work out red foil Mitch Hanniger here you go Spencer Tor Torkelson oh that's a base mm-hmm no, I'm talking about Corby mm-hmm it is you still want me to pull it or no? Oh yeah, it's Corbin. Okay. Cal Rally. Has anybody picked up any of the new hats? The yeah, spring training hats. No, yeah. not the, the new one, the batting practice hats. You gotta keep up, there's another line of hats. Oh yeah, there's spring training and there's batting practice in the red. I forget. I, I haven't seen the rest of the batting practice hats. I saw the spring training ones, I want to see the rest of the, the batting practice uh, designs. I wasn't too impressed with some of the spring training, so I hope they make it up on the batting practice. Bottom right corner, flare out again. Yeah, mm -hmm. butternuts. There. Mm -hmm. uh, Bryce Terang. I'm sorry, that was that was Michael Garcia. Sorry, Michael. I was just distracted by the damage to the corner of your card. Uh, Rod Carew. And Hunter Brown. Ooh. Okay, Damn. so mostly just corners and... Yeah. And and on top of that, it seems like it only happened like the worst of it happens when we're when we're on a streak of like pulling awesome cards. <laughs> That's rough two packs though. <laughs> Most of them are dust with one outer and one Acuna red foil. Yeah. It's like today was not my day. I used all my luck pulling for your birthday. <laughs> so yeah, um Panda picked this box. We have five more to go. Um I'm gonna take my time in ripping these cards and to identify if there's any significant damage on the quality control. Um, essentially, a few days ago, I sent an email to Tops, basically um, telling them my side of the story um, of roughly how much money we've spent in ripping cards and everything. We, I'm not dumb enough to think that we are going to walk out of this being the winner of pulling something worth the money all the time, but it's just that the uh, QC has been very disappointing. Um, just expect a certain standard yeah. of, mm -hmm. of product. Mm -hmm. uh, all the missing hits. Just Giselle. Jose Ramirez. We have countless missing hits. Um, packs being short. Um, not in the sense of like if you get less cards when there's a big hit. No. It's just a pack with nothing in it. Two with cards. one or two cards in it. And it has happened to us countless times. Jose Altuve. Chris Bryant. Right fall of Ernie Banks. Autograph of Leo Verpeguero. I forgot. I went with that stack, of course. <laughs> um, Jimmy Rollins and Mark Vientos. Would you say your auto fits mine? In a sense, yes, because he's a rookie, but I, have, I don't really know his, uh, his stats. But I'm pretty sure that. Uh, let me see. He. Short stop. Hmm. Okay. Steven Kwan is outfielder. Short stop gets a lot of action. Um, slugging, slugging. Steven Kwan slugging is higher. Uh, but OPS wise, the over is higher. But that is in twenty twenty two stats, not in twenty twenty three. So we don't really have. Uh, oh, he's he also he also have uh, three at bats. Yeah, that's why his rookie card is in twenty twenty three instead of twenty twenty two compared to Steven Kwan. Hmm. Um. So yeah, there's a chance you might edge me out. Maybe. Um, in the sense of pulling a rookie card auto is definitely better. There are only like a handful of, you know, athletes that still retain some value. Like Bobby Weed, uh, Julio Rodriguez, uh, Mike Trout. Here's our Chrome or oh, Triumvirates. I'm going to try and hide it. Okay. 
Yeah, we were looking at it from the angle of uh, a child who wants to collect baseball cards. Not new blaster is very expensive now, ranging from $25 to $35, especially the chrome line. Um, can't imagine how they feel if they got shorted and then they have to fork out uh, additional expenses. Yeah, Aaron Judge. Sounds like a month of chores for me. <laughs> yeah, um, Stadium, no, Topps Chrome 2023 blaster was going for like $35. Stadium Club of Aaron Judge, I'm going to put it right there. Don't we have one? I First. haven't done any like like inserts of him or anything. Mm. I feel like I've done Robbie Ray. not seen my boy. Judge. Ryan Mountcastle. Garrett Mitchell. And Triumvirates of Hank Aaron. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. It is not numbered. It is Triumvirates. Uh, Cecilia Fielder. And Adam Wainwright. Imagine if you're a child, your parents give you allowance for your the chores that you do or other things and you save up enough to buy a blaster box only to get shortened or ended up with plenty of damage cards that can be a good experience i sent to four email addresses that is provided by a fellow redditors um, two of which is not even a valid email address anymore um, oscar gonzalez so you can see all the, uh, the company, maybe? maybe because they're reshuffling acquired yeah. by fanatics perhaps um, the edges here are a bit flared up. It's very obvious from my point of view. And today, earlier today, I saw that they are um, launching a blaster box that is exclusive to Fanatics. Mm -hmm. So you can only buy it from the Fanatics website. They offer a different kind of redemption, which is you will get a chance to win, to win a jersey. But what are the odds of having, uh, pulling that? Mm -hmm. not only that they don't post the uh, they don't print the odds on the boxes anymore you have to go through the website what? and sometimes yeah the odds you have to go to the website the NPN you have to go to the websites a lot of things you have to go to the websites and it gets so really confusing and it will tell you like um, retail with uh, some weird coding hobby with some weird coding that um, for new collectors like us, we can't even distinguish which one's which. They're really making it difficult yeah. for people to be informed, um, informed about their Frank Thomas. and to make any informed decisions about what product... Mitch Henniger, maybe that is the point. Yeah. And they're acquiring the license to print other sports as well, which in my opinion is not a good thing because it will create a monopoly. Julio Rodriguez, this is base card. Josh Smith. Carlton Fisk, Brendan Crawford, and Johnny Bench. So, we have act by we, I mean Panda and I have actually talked about um, shifting our content because at the end of the day, doing this kind of rip to provide content for you guys is going to cost us a lot of money. Whereas, if I keep on improving my knowledge in terms of baseball, we can just make content about uh, baseball in general talking about the games, the updates, and everything. And also, um, do rips on the side, just for funsies. And that way, it's a win-win for us. It's still, like, it's so very much enjoyable. You know, the, the, Ripping? the, the, the child novelty of just being like, hey, I just Mookie watched bets. that guy. I got his card. Mm -hmm. that, that child sensation yeah. of, like, just, you know, opening up that a you're You familiar yourself with the guy... Yeah. Uh, before watching the game, and they'd be like, "Yeah, I, I, I saw the game. The guy played." Mm -hmm. Just it, very instead of just chasing, you know, um, road to less weird things that you're searching for, which they're making it impossible to get. Jeremy Pena. It's kind of um, yeah. You don't want to lose sight of what Patrick Sandoval. So enjoyable. Just so you know, you're so far back from the microphone. I don't even know if it will pick you up or not. Okay, well, it's not going to say anything to me. Hernandez. I like ripping. George Kirby yeah, and Clayton Kershaw. Part. Yeah. I mean, the sensation of ripping definitely have something to do with your um, your brain in terms of... Um, what do you call that thing again? Uh, okay. instant, instant gratification yeah. of pulling something um, amazing. Okay. It will... Yeah, the dopping, um, the endorphins and everything that makes you come back to rip more. It plays into your psyche of gambling. Um, I will not deny that, that that is true Joe Morgan red foil hmm. 
Yeah, just the same rip form. Bernie Williams, base card. Corey Lee, base card. Manny Machado. You know Max Fried. What is? Uh, Alec Thomas. Catel Marte. And Drew Waters. Like All base cards. Gotcha phone with like a bigger variety. Hmm. Um, not too sure how I feel about the 2024 product line. I do think that the 2023 offers uh, really the best selection yet. of the rookies. Right? They may have. Yeah. I haven't checked it. There's a Chrome card inside. Mm. David Ortiz. I think he might beat me out. Samuel there. Woods Richardson. I didn't get any Chromes. Sandy Alcantara. Aren't there usually two Chromes? Trey Turner. I think there's only one. Justin Verlander. Chrome card. Any scratches? Just some minor chromes, scratches. Like yeah. Minor scratches, bottom right corner. A Lennon Salsa. Black foil. Not numbered. Oh, nothing numbered. Nothing. Nestor Cortez and Willie Stargell. Yeah, so far, this box has been a dud. Duty! Mm hmm. Pure um, duty. The Triumvirate's Hank Aaron is a nice pull. Um, other than that, uh, we have pulled two Black Parallel, plenty of Redfall, I'm sorry, Black Fall Parallel, plenty of Redfall as per usual, a uh, few Chief Fantasy Pro, and a Chrome card of Justin Verlander. Coming down to the wire. Come on, Pearl Refractor. We don't want to see one of those. <laughs> Not even a single Otani. Not oh. one. You should know. You should know better than to hold <laughs> Nope. Voldemort. Jock Peterson. That's Ryan. Card, really? Yeah. Ryan Kriedler. Lars Nutbar. Lars. Josh Bell. <gasps> Derek Jeter. Orange Fall, the black and white. This yeah, is not numbered not as numbered. well. Miguel Cabrera. And Kate Cavalli. Oh, wait. Is he jumping up in the air or is he yeah. still got his foot on the floor? I think. Someone is trying to slide in or something. He's just jumping out in here. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all of our, uh, not ours, but my complaint basically. It just seems like uh, Fanatics trying to acquire more and trying to get a bigger market share of uh, the whole business and trying to make it a uh, cash grab for them without any regards to uh, their clients at all. So what can people Salvador do? Press. Or what, can, what else can be done to... Seiya you know, Suzuki say that you disagree with that besides from just voicing your opinion i think at the end of the day is that um, people have to get together and to understand that that is what's going on and they have to um stop buying but i doubt that's going to happen because there's such a huge market for it uh in the resale value well at least getting i think in the first part getting the information out there yeah. so that people are aware yeah and that's what i'm trying to uh, that's what i hope to achieve with this video is so that people are aware and not being blinded by what the company is doing but then again um, i'm pretty sure there are going to be a few people out there who think that i'm being bitter or negative and everything but it is what it is josh gibson right. nick prato chris sale mike trout virtuoso of velocity o'neill cruz and dl hall that's it Mm -hmm. This is definitely um, one of the most boring box that we have ever ripped in terms of Stadium Club. Those are the two autograph, um, a regular Stadium Chrome card, Virtuoso's Velocity of Mike Trout. It's, a, been, uh, it's been a while since I've thought of the word underwhelming when it comes to Stadium Club. Yeah. Um, black and white orange fall parallel of Derek Jeter the best might be this card I think that is yeah the triumvirates of Hank Aaron two autograph of Stephen Kwan and Leover Peguero Peguero Aaron Judge base cards Lennon Sosa black foil red fall Joe Morgan which is not numbered 
Acuna Junior Stadium Club would be, which would be the second best card. That was my this best is card. intertwinable yeah, between these two card. of them. Uh, Mookie Betts CF Pro insert, nothing special about that. Stadium Club, uh, sorry, Redfall of Bailey Banks. See, doesn't don't you accidentally read it? <laughs> the corner, yeah, of course. Redfall of Oscar Gonzalez, Redfall of Mitch Hanniger, Corbin Carroll base card, Redfall of Frank Thomas, insert of uh, CF Pro Paul Goldsmith, Goldschmidt, Virtuoso's Velocity insert of Kyle Schwarber. Black Fall of Ken Waldichuk, <laughs> Brian Bella Red Foil, Cal Rally Red Foil, and CF Pro Insert of Freddie Freeman. I need it to be, I need, I need to know something notable about Waldichuk so I can use his name as a verb. <laughs> You've been Waldichuk. Like, we've been Waldichuk, I said, like, you don't want to pull his cards out of expensive box. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely true for our, uh, for our situation. All of that being said, um, what do you guys think? Um, do you agree with my opinion in terms of how the, uh, company is heading the fact that panini um uh, what's the other brand again don Rust? no upper deck yeah is getting edge out because they do not have any kind of license personally i don't mind their products some of the design is really nice it's just that they are also having a uh, problem with their qc more so on panini than upper deck um, oh you should hear his ripping bitches about those mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, moving forward, like I said before, that we are um, planning on stop breaking. So we have plenty of boxes to go through. We have about a case of Alan Ginter 2023, which is um, easily the top five products that we enjoy ripping so much. The idea is that we are going to go through uh, one box per video and then um, check the value of the cards at the time without over inflating it uh, and then see what kind of value that you get for each hobby boxes and to tally it up at the end of our series um, whether how much we spend for the case how much we get in return what are the odds of pulling that say for example you can get an autograph out of that but you can get an autograph of nobody or an autograph of, of Wembanyama or uh, the, the tennis player who is it again Federer no it's not Federer Nadal and those are like the, the big hits, the one that is worth four figures, but that is far and few in between. So all of that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's content and we'll see you guys again next time.